Hello everyone, it's Alex from Menu Docs, and in today's episode, we'll be returning to the MongoDB series. Today's episode 3, and we're going to be working on connecting to the MongoDB database today. So, we have four things to tackle in this episode. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed last week's two videos. First off, we have our introduction slide to get done, of course. Following that, we have connecting to MongoDB with the CLI and the GUI. And we're going to be using both local and cloud databases for that one. Following that, we'll have connections with Python from Skelmas and JavaScript. Both are going to be using the cloud database only, and I'll explain why at the end of the episode. Then we have a wrap up slide to finish up the episode and get us ready for tomorrow. So, without further ado, let's get into the episode and get with connecting to MongoDB. Alright guys, so using the MongoDB installation locally that we talked about in the last episode, all you have to do is go to server 4.4, or whichever version you installed, bin mongo.exe, and there you go, you're connected to the local version. And one of the really amazing things of being able to use the compass to connect is just, just local host and you can find up here, it's typically 27017 unless you changed it. 27017. And you can just put mongo db colon. Ah, it doesn't usually work. So you can just fill out connection strings and this will be everything you need. Or it should be. Local host. 27017, hit connect, and here we go. We're inside of the local database. Now let's do our cloud database connections, and we're going to start off with JavaScript. Alright guys, so I'm going to be using Visual Studio Code for this series in doing JavaScript. And I think, I'm not completely sure what Skelmis is using yet, but whatever he's using, I will link it in the description below. So, let's get started here. We're just going to do npm init-y, just to get um, basic node down. So, make sure you have node installed before doing this. You do need node.js to do um, MongoDB connections. So. Simply, we're just going to do npm install mongodb dash dash save. Let me just give it a second here to install. It's not very big, so it doesn't take very long. And there we go. Now all we have to do is we're going to create a new file. We're going to make it mongo.js. And then we're going to make another file. And we're going to name it. I can I screwed it up, sorry. It's gonna be mongo.json. In our mongo.js file, we're gonna start by our npm package. And to do that, we're gonna make a const of mongo client. We're gonna require mongodb dot mongo client and here we're going to do const mongo uri is equal to require dot slash mongo json dot mg uri now we're going to do connection. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to our mongo.json. We're going to open up our JSON file here. And we are going to very quickly make mguri. And we're going to grab our connection string that you all got from our data here. You should go to your clusters, connect, connect your application, node.js, copy this, 
paste it in here, and fill out all the information that it needs. Save that, and go back. Now let's actually structure our connection. We're going to do mongo client dot connect mongo uri comma. We're going to open this up because you need the new information with the new versions of mongo. Use unified topology. We're going to set that to true. It's going to remove a few errors there. Then we're going to make a function for the callback error db. In here, we're going to check if there's an error. So if not error, console.log we are connected. We're going to else if error throw error. And that is just about it. We need the semicolon there and we can run node mongo and it'll say we are connected. If you get any errors with your connection string or anything, it'll show them here. It's usually very descriptive. That's really helpful. So let's quickly go to Skelmis. Let's learn how to do our Python bits and then let's wrap up the episode. Hey guys, what's up? This is Skelmis and I'm just here to show you the Python side of how to connect to MongoDB with Python. So you're going to be on your screen at uh, cloud.mongodb.com or however you're running it. We're going to go to connect. We're going to go connect your application. We're going to take Python. We're going to take 3.6 or later. Copy that over. You're going to need to remember your password. And pick a default database name. We're just going to pop over here. B.json connection string. We can pop that in there. Boom. Easy. Done. Just fill out the password, fill out the DB name. I've already done that in a.json, so we don't need to worry about it. And you're also going to be needing PyMongo. So just pip install PyMongo. I can just go ahead. I've already done it just there. So the requirements are already satisfied. And then quite simply put, we can just go from PyMongo and put Mongo client. And then it's really just as simple as client equals Mongo client. Put this in here, we're gonna go data, we're gonna go Mongo. We can run that now if we want to. And that is it. Except not quite it. I do wanna put some more things in there just to show you what happens uh, and how to check for connection failures and invalid details and things. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna put this in a oh, from, we need some errors first. So from pymango.errors import we need connection failure and then we need configuration error then we're just going to go try and then we are going to print client dot server info and then we're going to go accept connection failure uh, configuration error i guess is first invalid username slash password and this is going to be accept if you didn't Guess it, connection failure. That's just going to be print. So we're not available. I can't spell the moment, hey? And then we're just going to put an out in here and say print. I am connected. This should connect. I say should. It's connected. Look at that to easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I'm just gonna drag this over here quickly. Change up my key real quick. Boom. Now if I go ahead and run it, this should not work. So authentication has failed. So that's authentication failed. So it's tried to connect. The URL is correct. It just doesn't have the right username or password. Um what happens if we try to connect to say Something that won't work. Isn't a valid URL. Well, we can run it, but then it's gonna go ahead and there's a thing called a default timeout. So it's gonna go for X amount of seconds trying to find a server before it times out. So it's not quite ideal. So I'm gonna stop that and we're going to set a default. So server selection timeout and this is an ms 
and I'm just going to sit there for one second so it can time out really quick and we can get out of that error. And otherwise, that is how you do it, guys. That is how you connect your MongoDB Python, how you check to make sure that you've got a connection that's been actually established. And until next time, I'm back around. Have fun with MongoDB, guys. Alright, everyone. Thank you all for coming out today. We here from Unix would like to thank you for all the support lately. And this has been a super productive episode. Tomorrow will be the day we take a shot at models and collections, so make sure you're ready. Alright everyone, thank you for coming out to Menu Docs today. And if you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And as always, happy coding.